Um, I should say that I was sent into what I call this promiscuous tailspin by a very, uh, a very nasty episode in the art department. One of the cartoonists wooed me, took me around, let me believe that we were going to have beautiful children together. And all the time he had a fiancé waiting in the wings over in Austria. She was just waiting to get her papers in order till she came over and they got married. And um, I, I, I thought that was terrible. There's a novel there that you could have. <laughs> I, I, I tried at the time, but I had no perspective on that, Garrison. And oh, see, my... I, I see it here, Janet. It's on page 80. Yes. The apartment, the dinner, the cocktails, the love songs, the reference to what beautiful children I could give him, <laughs> all signify to me in my misreading of the code we were following that it was a serious relationship we were about to enter, one that justified the surrender of my hitherto carefully guarded virginity. Soon we were naked on top of one another in the candlelit confines of Evans's platform bed. And so forth. <laughs> I don't know if we really need to go through the other, the other uh, uh, troops. Oh, let's. let's <laughs> Because now all of us are starting to think, you know, this is there's a movie. <laughs> there's a movie. 